Good morning, happy people, happy artists around the world. <laughs> um, how are you all doing today? Very, very, very sunny today. Um, so, I've got a question, and a question that I thought was just fantastic. Again, thank you for all the questions coming in. Um, today's question is uh, from Sarah. I'm working on a school art project to draw a self-portrait the problem is that I'm a very normal looking person with nothing special about me. How can I draw an interesting self portrait? Oh, that's a difficult one. Um, well, the, one of the things about a self portrait is very different to a portrait. Now for a portrait, um, it's more to the fact of other people imagining something special about you. For example, if we were to just draw a very, a very quick um, scribble of a of a of a portrait, for example, um, I'll just draw a very quick face. And I was to draw something like that. Your first guess would probably, well, hopefully be David Bowie because of the big arrow, the big kind of lightning bolt through his face. And if we did another one and we did something like just another very simple head and we did something like like this then you could probably guess Gene Simmons like from Kiss you know with the big stars on his eyes and if you were to draw a full portrait of a person even in the most basic form if you did it as a okay yeah um Try this. Very, very, very simple portrait, and you're to add a little bit of color. Let's just go for a little splash of orange here. Now, as simple and basic and dreadful as these little drawings are, they basically tell you orange hair, guitar, you might say Ed Sheeran. And that's the simplest, basic, two seconds little scribble. And that's a self-portrait where you're actually trying to take elements from that person. You know, uh, maybe Sarah is always gardening and she's always got a beautiful garden and she's always planting flowers. Or maybe if you were to paint a very simple lady surrounded by flowers, you might think, oh, that, is that Sarah? You know, the same way as if Jack always plays his guitar and he's got punky green hair. If you did green hair and a guitar and it's a man, you might think that's Jack. So what we're trying to do here on a self-portrait is slightly different. On a self-portrait, what we're trying to do is we're trying to think, when I think of myself, what do I look like? How do I feel I look like to other people? Now, if, if people around here, they might see me in a certain way. They might say, oh, Kieran, oh, that's that crazy guy in the hat and the scarves and the and the yellow sunglasses, and that's that guy. Oh, there's Kieran. Even if it was from a distance, they might say, oh, there's Kieran, there's Kieran. But maybe inside, I don't feel like I look on the outside. And a very good example of that is that my, <laughs> my intro to the, these um, videos, my intro is... 
a self-portrait of myself. Now, I did a drawing of this man with a long kind of pointy beard and a, and a pointy mustache and a hat because everybody's, I'm always wearing a hat. And so that, at the beginning of my um, video, is an image of me, by me. Now, other people might say, well, you're not that skinny or your nose is not that long or, and that's other people's impression of who I am and what I am. For me, that's kind of like how I feel. That's how I look. That's how I am. So your inner portrait has got to be something different. So I thought it might be a good exercise just to have a, a play today and um, get everybody to draw a self-portrait. <laughs> and before you get into this, try and maybe make a list of things that um, you have around you, that you have hobbies, that you have loves, that you have passions for certain things. Instruments, there you go, look, there's mandolins on the wall, there's another mandolin over there. Um, and that's something that maybe I could add to mine. Maybe I could draw me playing an instrument or me drawing. Maybe if I was to do drawing, people would probably see that more because I, you know, my instruments is more self, more me. So maybe other people wouldn't see it. But for me, I might think, well, um, I am an artist, but I'd rather be a magician or I'd rather be a... Um, musician or something like that. So it's it's also about your personal feel about yourself. So we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna start off today, and we're, you know maybe you can do a little self sketch, um, like I just did here. These really basic little things. Don't get too um, technical about them. Don't get too driven by it. It's just a basic sketch that you're just going to put down a very simple form, a simple idea. And then start to put some of these elements of your life maybe into the picture. Okay? So I would really like today to help out Sarah from her with her self-portrait and see how we can take this a little bit. And try to bring in some of those elements of the inner you for a self-portrait. This is the inner you. All right? Don't listen to nobody else. Okay? Other people might think you're too skinny other people might think you're too fat other people might think you're angry other people might think you're too sweet people might think you're what 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 but what do you think okay now if somebody was to do a portrait of me <laughs> i don't know what people would do but um um they would have their vision of what i look like and who i am and what 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 so, and that, that can still be some of those elements into you. For example, my hat. I'm almost 99% of my life, I wear a hat. Um, I wear a hat to, so my thoughts don't escape. I keep my hat, so it keeps all my, my great ideas inside my head, you know. They don't float off and disappear somewhere. So... <laughs> So that's, that's why I wear a hat. That keeps my thinking in, keeps my thoughts in, keeps, keeps all that specialty there. All right. So um, today we're going to draw a portrait. If you would love to join me, I would love that. It's a shame we can't have like split screens and all that kind of technical stuff going on. But let's just draw a portrait, self-portrait of what you think you look like, okay? And that's you, nobody else, all right? This is all about you today. So let's draw a portrait, a self-portrait, not a portrait. This is going to be a self-portrait. It's you drawing you, all right? Keep it fun and um, enjoy the video. Well, hello. 
Today we are going to be drawing in a slightly different ink today. We're going to be drawing in Windsor and Newton Black Indian ink. Um, I will be putting it in a little Windsor and Newton. Um, I will basically be pouring that into that. Uh, there you can still see the, the Windsor and Newton um, pot. It's these lovely little square pots they've got. Um, and I fill them up from these bigger jars. You can get a slightly smaller jar, which is this one. Um, just so you can see the difference. You can get them in these big jars. And you get them in these. So it's a 500 mil, 250 mil. And then you get them in these little 75. Um, these little 75 pots, which I just basically have the pot. And then I fill them up and fill them up. I love these little pots, but like I've said before, they're too small. I'll probably use the 75 mil jar in one drawing, you know. But um, today it's a slightly different. We're going to, just to to show you a variation of ink, hopefully you will see some variation. You'll find that today's ink is a little bit thicker. Um, um, it's a beautiful ink. It's a, an absolutely incredible ink. So is the Talons, but... The Windsor Newton is a little bit thicker. So um, today we'll be drawing with that. No sponsorship or no anything. It's just me giving you advice on what I'm using. So you know what, oh, there's the little pot there. Look, that's how it comes. A little 75 mil. That's the same as that square one. Inside there's a little square jar like, like that. And um, these are just my opinion. So today I'm just going to we're just we're, we're talking about self portraits um and i have no idea what i'm going to do but i'm going to just start off with an eye and see see where i end up now i always have this um I mean, I'm not going to talk too much about my personal, um, <laughs> my personal defects as we go through this. Well, hopefully not, but um, I will, um, I will draw you how I kind of see myself a little bit. You know, I, <laughs> I kind of see myself, I suppose, as a little bit of a funny but slightly crazy character, so, you know, that's like, um, that's just me, it's like, you know, I have the, the craziest dreams of anybody I've ever met, um, and that seems to be part of me, um, I think after I came out of the hospital, I think my dreams got a little bit crazier, um, a little bit deeper, maybe. But, um, so I do kind of feel like there's this kind of, oh, it's very catchy today. So I do kind of feel that my life is some kind of, um, some kind of dreamy element to it. I'm not quite sure, um, how much is real really, which is a strange subject, but. I think it was Oscar Wilde who said that um, um, if you know, I don't know the exact term, so forgive me, but something like if you if you know your path in life from an early age, that it's kind of like a curse. And that sometimes is a little bit how being an artist feels sometimes. It's like, you know, being an artist and being... Having this kind of life is is something very kind of is it a gift? Is it a curse? It's kind of like a I don't know. It's it's quite a, a difficult a difficult balance for some people. You know, it's like um, is it a curse being an artist? You know, you 
it's not like you can kind of just give it up and walk away from it, you know? It's like, you're stuck with it. Once you're an artist, you're, you'll always have it in your bones. You'll always have it, you know? And that comes from a, a very early age. And that's something that's beautiful as well. I mean, it's a gift to be able to do that, you know? It's a gift to be able to, uh, it's a gift to be able to kind of have this life. It's a gift to be um, a person who can see things and feel things that most other people don't. And um, I think that's a gift, you know, to have this, um, to have this beautiful kind of direction in life where you can kind of, uh, you can kind of draw things that maybe other people would never see or never feel. And that's such an incredible um, feeling to have. It's just, I have this stubbly, scruffy hair on one side of my head. Well, I have it on both sides of my head, but you know what I mean. For the drawing, it's kind of, well, I'll put it on the other side as well so you can see my little stubbly hair. <laughs> so this is what we're talking about, self-portrait. A self-portrait is something that you kind of, Feel like I always feel my my glasses never quite fit around my ear. I don't know why that is. Do, are my ears further away than other people? You see, that's what starts to happen. You start to have these thoughts. You start saying, "Wait a minute, are my ears further away than other people's ears? Why? What does that mean? Are they?" Um, the same with hats. I, I love hats and. You know, the, the whole idea of having a hat and having having this thing that keeps all my thoughts in in, in one place, you know. I don't like them all to escape. You know, so I do wear a lot of hats. I wear a lot of hats. Um, um, I've got lots of different hats. And I love top hats. I love, I would love to have an orange top hat. But at the moment, I'm a little bit scaredy cat, you know. I, I would love to. I saw one in a, a shop in Brighton one time. It was an orange hat. And I was, or orange top hat, I should say. And I was so tempted, and in the in the in the end, I was kind of, you know, kind of gave up and didn't buy it. But my sister kind of thinks I'm a little bit like the the Mad Hatter in the Alice in Wonderland. So she thinks I'm a little bit like the Mad Hatter in. In that, and I guess in some kind of way, I, I kind of I'm quite similar to the Mad Hatter in many ways. Although I haven't quite got a mouse in a teapot yet. <laughs> um. Right, so this is the beginning of me, my self portrait. I have no idea what we're going to do today, but I've got all my thoughts and all my thinking and all my, my madness is quite happily tucked away there in my, uh, in my hat. So it will not escape. And I've got two big diamond earrings in there that were a gift, a gift from a very wonderful person. And I wear them a lot. I love diamonds as well, you know. I mean, what, what, how strange is that? So, you know, I would like to have my other ear done as well at one point. So I've got not, not two earrings in it, but 
one earring in it. So I've got two in one and one in the other. And my mustache can kind of get a little bit wild sometimes. Sometimes I need to kind of trim it back, but. So I, I quite often draw it much longer than it actually is, but again, this is kind of like a self portrait, a self caricature, if you wish. And, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to find out who we are today, who we think we are, who we would like to be. You know, that's part of a self portrait as well. Some of the, the elements of being you that what you want to be, what you will be, you know, and that's part of it as well. These days I'm a bit more stubbly and a bit more hairy down this area, but I'm not so keen on that. I don't like that. It's just me being, <laughs> it's just me being lazy. And, um, and here's my lips. And then below my lips is my crazy beard. I'm not so keen on what, don't like what's happening with those lines around my eye. I'm gonna darken up a few more. In, in my dreams, I have a lot of dreams about eyes, so I'm not quite sure really how to draw my eyes. And this is just how I see myself, okay? And the same way that you will see yourself. And I would love to, uh, I would love to see how you see yourself. I'd love to see your drawings. My beard is quite long. I've had a beard from a very young age too. I had a beard since, you know, I was probably about 17 when I started getting a beard. And um, I think I've only, probably in the last 10 years, I think I've only shaved it off once and, and my daughter cried so hard. <laughs> oh dear, she was absolutely shocked. And, Who are you? So I, I haven't, I don't make a habit of it. It's too shocking for people. Maybe I'm just too ugly with, without a beard, maybe. <clears throat> and most, a lot of times I wear shirts. I like to wear shirts, so it's only when I'm drawing I wear skaggy clothes so that um, my ink doesn't get, because I get ink over everything, you know. I love to dress, I love to wear a suit, and I love to wear pinstripe suits, and I love all that type of thing. I love kind of having color in my life and a little bit magic in my life, you know? Um, one of the, the great things about my kind of being, oh no, I've just done a big black spot on my nose. <sighs> Oh dear, will I be able to soak that up? I'll go back and white out that. I didn't realize I had so much ink on the... I love music, ma uh, magicians as well. I'm one of those very few people probably that don't want to know how the, how the trick is done, you know? Don't tell me how you did the trick. I don't want to know. Just do that trick again. When I when I worked in um, China, there used to be a friend of mine, and he was a practicing magician, and he used to come in to the studio, and he would um, 
say, oh, Kieran, can I show you a trick? Yeah, 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 sure. And uh, he would come up with all these amazing car tricks. He'd be doing this, doing that, doing... And I was like, oh, my God. Do that trick again, you know? And he's like, come on, you know? So he'd be... He used to spend a lot of time kind of practicing his... Um, practicing his uh, magic tricks, you know? And um, so he couldn't believe that I never wanted to know what the, what the trick was. I never, ever, ever wanted him to explain. So a lot of times it was kind of like he would do this trick for like 10 times for me. Um, there's something not right about that nib. So today it's Windsor Newton ink. You can probably see it feels a little bit thicker probably than the others. Which is a beautiful thing. And I love brooches as well. I've got a lovely kind of big kind of um, bird skull in silver on my on my jacket and it's got like a kind of a kind of a crown and it's got lots of kind of cogs and wheels on it kind of like a s steampunk I think they call it so I'm gonna bring that in there I'm gonna I'm, I'm really tempted to kind of bring one of my mandolins in And I have a, a beautiful mandolin by, by a man called John. John. Hmm. I've forgotten his name now. Thinking too much about my drawing. And it has a beautiful violin head. So I'm going to try and draw a big kind of scrolled violin head on top of this. The mandolin is about a hundred years old. And it is just gorgeous to look at. And it makes it very, very special because it is very different. You see, because the Windsor and Newton is a little bit thicker, it doesn't seem to move so so easily. It doesn't seem to do. I find the the talenting slightly more loose. So when I'm getting into very um, serious illustration, what I will do is I will use the the Windsor and Newton quite often because it kind of controls you a little bit better. It can control your um, not getting too crazy with the ink. Kind of, um, and that's, that's quite a beautiful thing. And the self portrait here is basically me bringing in some elements. I love hats. I love glasses. I love my suits. I love my instruments. And that's kind of how I'm structuring up a self-portrait in the same way that, you know, if you like cars or if you like flowers or if you like um, toys, if you like whatever, I mean, that's what this is all about. It's about finding those elements of your life. And kind of bringing them into your, bringing them into your story. Surrounding your image, like we did with Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran's got orange hair, and a guitar. So, from that side of it, 
as a portrait, that's where we would do. As his self-portrait, you know, he might not even put a guitar in there. You know, maybe he would think that the, the guitar is his job and he doesn't want to. But, you know, he might see himself as a, a car collector. He might see himself as a gardener. He might see himself, you know, so that's a very beautiful thing about a self-portrait. Because you can really never go wrong. That's cool. Now, there's this thing here about, like I was talking about, magicians and magic here. So I've got this idea, maybe I'll do a hand here and some, some cards flying or something like that. Just kind of, not that I am a magician, not that I know anything about magic, but it might just be a lovely kind of, twist to my loves in life you know there's another side of my life and you will find that in the worry lips books i think i showed you those before the worry lips books basically are um, a bit of a story about my life um, and what they are are basically explaining there we are. These were a set of books that I did and you can find them on Amazon and you can see another side of my life that probably isn't so well documented. Um, and it's it goes through a very, very dark period of my, my life. And there you go. It's a very perfect image for you. <laughs> so you can go and have a look at those as well. Um, worry Lips, go and have a look on Amazon. Um, and that was about a period of my life when, when things were kind of going a bit crazy in my life. So, but I won't add that element to it here. It's kind of, it's a very kind of a deep and crazy part of my life. But you can have a look at some of the, the thoughts that I was going through at that period of life, of my life. And this is all about the fun side of my life, the, the loves and not the, not the worries and stuff. There's no worries and stresses and you know, I have the same stresses and worries as a lot of other artists, you know. Selling products and making a living and stuff like that. And, um, you know, so well, I think a lot of artists have the, the same kind of worries. But it's our chosen profession and our chosen way of life. And that's, in many ways, we're lucky. I, f I feel we're lucky. And even if you only draw at the weekends, you're still very, very, very lucky. I love the, the idea that, I mean, today is Saturday and I've been drawing all week and um, I still want to draw. <laughs> That's that's how crazy my life is. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It doesn't matter to me. I still love to draw. I just, I can't have enough of it. If, I, if I'm drawing all day long, I'm still happy. That's me throwing all the cards in the air. And like I said, I'm not a, ma a magician, but I love magicians. If you're a magician, send me a link to your website or your YouTube channel or 
and I'll come and I will definitely come and have a look at some of your tricks. As long as you don't tell me how you did the trick. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. I really don't want to know. So if you're a magician who kind of does magic tricks and and um, leave us all wondering, oh my God, how did he do that? Then send me a link. On the, on the comments, send me a link to your magic shop or your magic website, your magic TikTok, your magic YouTube, something. And I will definitely, definitely come and have a look. Uh, I did for a couple of months, I did actually try to learn magic tricks. But to be honest, once I knew how people were doing them, it kind of took the magic out of the equation. It kind of became, <laughs> it wasn't a magic trick anymore, it was a trick. Do you, do you see what I mean? It, it had lost the magic. So I quickly stopped do, doing that and um, just took my time enjoying other people doing magic. I love people like David Blaine and people like that. It's just like, oh my God. How did you do that? How? Let's give myself a thumb. And maybe I'll put a little bit of color in this one. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think I should do? Do you think I should paint this one up? Do you think I should add a bit of color to it? In fact, I did get a, a message from, um, I think it was Michael yesterday about doing color. So I will also do a, a color video later on about how to how to add color to your paintings, add color to your drawings. Sorry, and I think again that's something that people have got very. I think they've watched too many videos where people are saying the rules of painting are. Don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, never do this. Well, you know, I'm not quite sure I agree with all of that. Go and explore it and go and find it yourself. You know, find what works good for you is a rule. That's my rule, that's my only rule. My rule is put the paint down Get a, a couple of sheets of paper and just play with it. Just play around. Just see, if you add more water, what does it look like? If you add less water, what does it look like? If I add two colors together and I add anything you want. If I add charcoal to it, if I add Just explore it. Just find out what you love about it. When you paint something and you've explored it and found it yourself, it somehow seems to look a lot more beautiful than if somebody told you how to do it. And it's great. Sometimes you can find these lessons if you really are stuck and you really want to do exactly as the other people did it. But, you know, for me, I kind of like the idea of just kind of exploring the same way I did with ink I looked around and I looked at people like like Gerald Scarf and amazing artists like that and I thought how is he doing it you know and when I watched him uh, to be honest I really did not like the way I watched him um, drawing but I liked the final drawing and I thought well how could I draw that but draw it in my my own way you know 
and that's where I, I came to this you know then I spent years doing animation which kind of you had to be a lot more kind of uh, that's the little stretch marks on my belly <laughs> on my shirt there they are okay I've got a bit of a belly and um, and the animation kind of got me into life drawing and things like that where you you know you really need to be able to know how how a figure looks and how an animal is and and that was an amazing time for me learning to draw and to be honest some of the best artists I've ever met in my life were in animation you know if you if you go and look up pencil tests line tests or pencil tests for Disney and people like and companies like that you will see some amazing artists there we are, that's kind of getting... <laughs> uh, there we are, it's kind of looking looking nice. And I'm going to... Because I'm always kind of quite posy person, I always kind of like to... I'm going to kind of bend myself. So I hope you're also doing your self-portrait as we're, as we're doing this. You're just kind of thinking about things about your life, what you like, what you're interested in, you know, and um, and putting something together. And as always, if you've got questions, let me know. And if you've got, post up in the comments and leave me some, some of your some of your drawings so I can see what you've been doing. I love shoes as well. Oh, I'm terrible with shoes. I'm terrible with shoes. I'm gonna do a, a lovely pair of, you know. Another person who loves shoes is Paul Weller. And I think, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a really funny one because we're talking about caricatures and, and um, portraits. Have a look at this one. Have a look at this. This is what a friend sent to me. Look at this. Can you see that? Who is that? Paul Weller. <laughs> That's just amazing. Look at it. It's just like a little wooden peg doll, but he's got gray hair. He's got a pinstripe suit, and he's got his big 335 uh, or Casino Royale um, Epiphone guitar. And that's incredible. Now that's a portrait, you know. Paul Weller with his casino epiphone and his pinstripe suit. I mean, there's Paul Weller. I mean, he's like a god of music. And look at him in a little, a little peg doll. I mean, that <laughs> that is just incredible, isn't it? So there you go. That's another type of portrait. So, um, and I'm sure when. You know, when Paul Weller goes home, he probably puts on a pair of jogging trousers and his slippers or something, you know. But when he's on stage and when he's out there performing, he's like the coolest man on earth, you know. I mean, what man does not want to be like Paul Weller? I mean, there can't be that many. He is just one of the coolest men on the planet. So if you're watching Paul and you want me to do an album cover for you, you give me a shout and I'll see if I've got some spare time. <laughs> oh man, I would love to do that. That'd be a great list on my um, on my CV. Paul Weller album cover. So there we are, some real cool black and white shoes as well, because I'm, I love shoes. The crazier the color and the crazier the pattern. Uh, I've got a beautiful pair of orange shoes as well that I love wearing. 
I know, people kind of look and say, what, orange? Yeah. In fact, my, my sister has actually started making clothes, so I'm going to keep her busy. <laughs> So, how do we feel? Me with my diamond earrings. Oh, I need to finish that leg. And my black and white shoes. I have a lovely pinstripe suit upstairs. I don't get much chance to wear it these days. I used to wear it all the time. But these days I'm kind of at home drawing and getting myself covered in ink. So as you can see in most of my drawings, I, I kind of dress quite scruffy. and I try to stay colorful, but um, a lot of times my clothes get covered in ink and paint. And I've got so many jumpers that are covered in paint. But then I guess that's also part of that curse of being an artist, I guess. It's you, all your clothes get ruined. I think, I think tomorrow I get my new micro microphone. So hopefully my um, my recordings will be slightly better as of tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to kind of raising the quality of it a little bit. Let's get some. Ooh. Get a couple of strings coming off it. There we are. And it's got a lovely round back on this mandolin as well. So, how do we feel about our drawing today? How's your self-portrait coming along? And I hope in some way, Sarah, that's helped you. I hope in some way it's kind of kept you nice and um, thoughtful about your self-portrait. And, you know, at the, at the same time, please also remember that your self-portrait is not going to look like anybody else's self-portrait. Your self-portrait is going to be by you, for you. Not to hang on a wall. It's for you, okay? You're doing this drawing for you. And whatever anybody else thinks, whatever anybody else says, you did it for you, okay? So... There's today's crazy portrait. Self-portrait of a mad artist. The mad artist in his black and white shoes and his mandolins and his hats and his glasses. And, and we shall add a little bit of color to it later on. Maybe I'll paint this one up so you can have a little bit more thoughts about how I'm putting paint down and putting colors down. I know I've been asked, but... Um, I kind of been busy building up this this um, YouTube channel and trying to get it trying to get a few videos up there to start the ball rolling because I would like this to be a long term thing. I don't want this to be like two or three videos that go up and and then they never they never progress they never kind of change. I want these to be a, videos that go on for a long time. I want them to be videos that. You know, we can look back at some of these videos in like five years time and have a laugh at them and think, oh my God, did we draw that? So help me to keep this alive, okay? And if there's anything you would like to learn, if there's anything you would like me to draw, let me know. Let me know in the comments and I will try and do my best. And um, let's try and keep this. Uh, let's try and keep this YouTube nice and free, 
nice and fun. Um, just a nice place to sit and draw and talk and have a bit of fun. All right. I'll give you some close up um, images in a minute. So stay tuned. But thank you very much for coming over. My name's Kieran Siemens and I've had a fantastic morning. Thank you very much for sharing it. And I'll see you again very soon. So here's a close up for you of today's drawing. There's all the cards that we drew. There's a, coming down the hand, a nice big chunky hand. There's the instrument. And there's the final drawing. So thank you very much for coming in today and seeing my funky shoes and seeing my lovely drawing. Thank you very much for sharing today with me. Bye-bye.